NC State versus UNC. North Carolina is minus six and a half. The over under is 55 and a half. Teats, I'll start with you. You know, this is kind of a matchup of one of the best quarterbacks in the country, collegiately at least, versus a team that is a shadow of itself. You know, Drake May, they had a really bad loss last week, but he has, I think, like the most yards in Division One, at least for the Power Five conferences. I'm going with North Carolina minus six and a half, or I guess minus six on this one, so I even get half a point. Um, you know, I think that the Tar Heels are going to bounce back. I think that they're going to come out for blood. This is an in-state rivalry game. Yeah. I think NC State, I could be wrong, but they could be starting their third-string quarterback this week, depending on what their second-string quarterback, if he's still injured or not. And I just they have not looked like themselves. So I think that North Carolina can escape this one pretty easy, a touchdown or more. Yeah, uh, Teets, I'm gonna I'm gonna back you again. Uh, North Carolina <laughs> minus six and a half is my play. Uh, NC State has a really good defense. UNC has a really good offense. And in college, we all know offense usually wins. So I'm gonna take UNC to win by a couple scores. Trey. Yeah, we've been talking about this NC State team uh, a couple weeks now, and each time I've betted against them, and that's going to continue here. We're going to team ride with North Carolina minus six. Uh, NC State is 0-5 ATS in our last five games overall against North Carolina. NC State is 1-7 ATS in our last eight games overall, and NC State is 1-7 ATS in our last seven eight ACC games. So I'm going to go North Carolina minus six. I think they should win by a touchdown easy. Yep. Like Jesse and Teets said, I think that they should even win by two scores. So I'm going to go North Carolina minus a six for a team ride. All right, team ride on North Carolina. 